Hello, I present handlebars from Zoom, Force and M-Wave. This is my second video with comparison of budget handlebars, cost from 10 to 20 euros, with mounting diameter of 31.8 and minimum width of 700 mm. I've already installed dozens of similar handlebars and I choose them because of their higher rise, which helps to change riding position to a more comfortable and upright, and that's what I care about the most. In 2023, the cheapest of them M-Wave can be purchased for around 13 euros. Zoom costs about 15 and you have to pay another 2 for extended version 780. Force, which also turned out to be Zoom, costs 20 euros and has the biggest 35mm rise. The rest of them are 15mm lower. In my opinion, big plus of M-Wave is the largest, very rare and comfortable 10 degrees back sweep. Zooms are bent by 9 degrees and the straightest force has only 6. Those bars have average weight. M-Wave, which has the thickest walls, is a bit heavier than the rest. The lightest is Zoom and Force Zoom, with weight of approximately 300 grams. Interestingly, additional 8 cm increases the weight of the longest handlebar by over 50 grams. In budget below 30 euro, I haven't seen handlebars made of better aluminium 2000 or 7000 series. These are made of the cheapest and weakest 6000 aluminium alloy. That is why it's clearly stated on them that they should not be used for hard riding, jumping, downhill or stand. If you are looking for a much stronger and wider handlebar, this starts from around 35 euros and I made few videos about them to which links you will find in the upper right corner and in the description. Very annoying minus of cheap handlebars that I cannot understand are these small markings. The worst is in force, where you don't even know where the center is. Others could be good if they were bigger. Of course, it all depends on the shape of your stem, but in this case this cheap uno covers all the signs on them. What is so hard to do 6 cm horizontal line and second one going through the middle? I don't know, it's probably designed by people who do not use this part by themselves. At this price I have nothing to complain about their quality. I had many zooms, pro X's, unos, wakes and similar and all of them are alive and well, of course, if you use them as intended to. Except for those markings, which I hope someday will be updated, I can confidently recommend those bars, but before buying, Pay attention to what rise, width and bend you need, because that's the only difference between them. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions feel free to write in the comments and if you like the video drop a like and subscribe my channel where I publish new movies every Monday and Thursday. See ya!